Today we're trying out some ready to bake cookie dough from Sweet Lauren's. We found these when we were across the border Detroit. This was at a Meyer store. They've got three flavors. There's a shortbread, there's a caramel chocolate, and a regular chocolate chip. So we're gonna bake those off. And while they're baking, my kids realized that they were vegan as well, so they wanted to try them as straight up cookie dough. So this is pretty cool. You could just pull it from your fridge and you could eat some cookie dough. You could throw it in some ice cream or milkshake to make a fancy milkshake. I'll show you the back of all the packaging so you can see the ingredients at the end or you can just skip ahead to check them out. These are oat-based cookies. They use oat, tapioca, and potato. Smiley face! So unfortunately we can't listen to the original audio. I had to mute it because my kids were listening to YouTube in the background. This wasn't really planned. But the sugar cookie tasted like a sugar cookie, the chocolate chip cookie tasted like a chocolate chip cookie, and the caramel cookie was a chocolate chip cookie with caramel bits mixed in. I wasn't a fan of the caramel bits, though my son was. That was his favorite so far, so. I always say that if we disagree on our favorites, then that means it's just our taste and that it's not a bad product. It's just we like different things. So we decided after that that we were going to double up on some of these cookies and we were gonna try making some ice cream sandwiches. So that is the chocolate chip, and then we're gonna do the caramel, and then we're gonna do the sugar cookie and we're gonna pop them in the oven. I bake them a tiny bit longer than you're supposed to for the regular cookie dough ball because it's a larger cookie but you also kind of want them underdone so just check on them if you're gonna do this. And while they're baking you want to prep your ice cream so we also grabbed a pint of vanilla dairy-free ice cream and you're gonna grab a serrated knife and we're gonna slice this guy up into three to four slices. We did four. We ended up saving the last one for another time. This is really cool because you get nicely portioned ice cream and you can throw it back in the freezer while you're waiting for your cookies to finish baking and cooling. And then you've got a nice stable ice cream middle. Otherwise, if you are going to scoop your ice cream to make your ice cream sandwiches, you're gonna have some oozy ice cream. They're gonna be super messy, or you're gonna have to wait a couple of hours for your ice cream to set up to be able to bite into that ice cream sandwich. So this is kind of like a cheat code. In the meantime, our regular cookies are out of the oven. They've cooled a little bit, and we're gonna cut them to taste test them. First up, we're starting with the sugar cookie. I like the sugar cookie. Yes, the sugar cookie. Next up was the caramel cookie and then the chocolate chip. I found both of these were very similar. They're nice and soft and chewy with the chocolate chips. And then the caramel one also has caramel bits. I don't know what it was about the caramel bits, but it, I don't know if it was an artificially flavor, but I was not a fan, but Elliot really loved them. So, I mean, you can still definitely give them a try. And here are our double size cookies. So essentially each ice cream sandwich is four cookies with a big chunk of ice cream. We couldn't wait, we didn't wait long enough. You can see that from the grease on the parchment that these are still super hot and greasy cookies. But it was a nice combo of warm cookie with cold ice cream, but feel free to also let them cool a little or assemble them and pop them in the freezer just for a little less mess. Overall, Emily and I love the chocolate chip the best, Elliot loved the caramel, and we're just not huge fans of sugar cookies, but they were delicious and did taste like sugar cookies. So we give a thumbs up to all three. Just depends on what flavor you're looking for. I love how super convenient these are. After this taste test, I threw them in the freezer and my kids were able to grab one here and there when they wanted one and pop it in our air fryer for a fresh baked cookie. So that's pretty cool. And as far as cost goes, these cost us $6.99 American. So at the current exchange rate, that comes out to $9.43 Canadian. So it's 78 cents per cookie, which isn't bad for fresh baked gluten-free vegan cookies sidebar minor rant is anyone else not from the united states and jealous of all the selection they have for gluten-free specialty items i love jumping across the border and we're so lucky that we are like 10 minutes across the border and just jump on the bridge and get across to grab all kinds of fun goodies that we can't get in Canada. If you want to see all the other gluten-free things we grabbed on this trip, as well as some YouTuber products that my son was looking for, you can watch this video next. 